Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the 2012 inaugural ceremony for the city of Northampton, the beginning of a new and exciting chapter for us. My name is Jacqueline Conley, and I'm an Associate Justice for the Northampton District Court and a lifelong resident of Northampton. It is my honor and privilege to serve as Master of Ceremonies this morning and to administer the oath of office to the city clerk. To begin the ceremony, we are fortunate to have a talented group of Northampton High School students here to perform the national anthem. Would you please rise as we welcome the a cappella group, the Northamptons. standing. Thank you. Jerry Clark, President of the Veterans Council of Northampton, will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I invite you to join with me in doing the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. You may now be seated. I will now call on Reverend Dr. Andrea Avazian for the invocation. O oh, Holy One, known to us by many different names, revealed to us in many different ways. May your presence grace this gathering of great importance today. We ask that you shower your wisdom on the fine women and men who have been empowered to lead this beloved community, a community filled with beauty, creativity, vitality, and challenges. Equip these, our chosen leaders, to respond to the challenges we face with good judgment rooted in compassion, fairness, and a commitment to those on the margins of power and wealth. We ask that our able leaders bring to their work on our behalf a relentless hunger for justice that cannot be ignored, expansive hearts open to our needs and concerns, and a passion for the safety security, and well-being of all members of the human family. We ask you to bless our leaders with clarity, courage, and cool heads, for those qualities will be needed when problems multiply and debates intensify. We ask for a special blessing on our brother David, who brings kindness, integrity, and honor to his labors. Guide and counsel him so that he continues to use his gifts and talents in the service of goodness in this community that he so loves. Holy One, we trust that you will help all our fine leaders to reach past easy answers, chafe at injustice, and wear the mantle of peacemakers. We ask that you prod them to think and feel deeply. 
And should they stray from the path of righteousness, trouble their conscience, disturb their sleep, and lead them back to the path of goodness and truth. O spirit of love and faithfulness, we are grateful for your presence among us, and we give thanks for these good men and women charged to discern and decide, imagine and inspire, listen and lead. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you, Reverend Doctor. It is now my pleasure to swear in the city clerk, Wendy A. Maza, for another two-year term. And she, in turn, will, prepare, will perform the remainder of the oaths. I, I, Wendy Maza, do solemnly swear and affirm, do solemnly swear and affirm, that I will faithfully and impartially, I will faithfully and impartially, discharge and perform, discharge and perform, all the duties incumbent upon me, all the duties incumbent upon me, as city clerk of the city of Northampton, as city clerk of the city of Northampton, according to the best of my abilities and understanding, according to the best of my abilities and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution, agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Constitution, and the laws of the Commonwealth, and the laws of the Commonwealth, the charter, ordinance, ordinances, and rules of the city of Northampton, the charter, ordinances, and rules of the city of Northampton, so help me God, so help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. And now, the moment Mayor-elect David J. Narkowitz has been waiting for, the opportunity to remove all of the numerous titles that he held in 2011 and hold just one, Mayor of Northampton. Please come forward for the oath of office by the clerk. Raise your right hand for me. Repeat after me. I, David J. Narkowitz. I, David J. Narkowitz. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. That I will bear true faith and allegiance. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. To the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. And will support the Constitution thereof. And will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, David J. Narkowitz. I, David J. Narkowitz. Do solemnly swear and affirm do solemnly swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me all the duties incumbent upon me as mayor of the city of Northampton as mayor of the city of Northampton according to the best of my abilities and understanding according to the best of my abilities and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations of the constitution agreeably to the rules and regulations of the constitution and the laws of the commonwealth and the laws of the commonwealth the charter ordinances the charter ordinances and rules of the city of northampton and rules of the city of northampton so help me god so help me god i david j narkowitz i david j narkowitz do swear do swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, David. <laughs> the City Council, will you please rise as I announce your name? Councillor... <laughs> Sorry about that, that was a trick. <laughs> All right. First, Councillor at Large, Jesse M. Adams. Councillor at Large, William H. Dwight.
Counselor, Ward 1, Maureen T. Carney. <laughs> Counselor, Ward 3, Owen Freeman Daniels. <laughs> Counselor, Ward 4, Pamela C. Schwartz. <laughs> Counselor, Ward 5, David A. Murphy. <laughs> Counselor, Ward 6, Marianne L. Labarge. And Counselor Ward 7, Eugene A. Tacey. Please remain standing while the clerk administers the oath. If you'd raise your right hand for me. I, please state your names. I, Joseph Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Do faithfully and impartially. Do faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. The Charter, Ordinances, and Rules of the City of Northampton. The Charter, the Ordinances, and the Rules of the City of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations and the best of luck to all of you. Now, the members of the Northampton School Committee, uh, please rise as I announce your name. At large, Blue M. Duvall. <laughs> Ward 2, Andrew Shefflow. <laughs> Ward 4, Edward, Edward S. Zukowski, Jr. <laughs> and Ward 6, Lisa Minnick. Raise your right hand for me. I state your names. I do solemnly swear and affirm. Do solemnly swear and affirm. The faithfully and impartially. Faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. The Charter, ordinances, and rules of the City of Northampton. Charter, ordinances, and rules of the city of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Now the trustees of Smith Agricultural School, please rise as your name is announced. Michael T. Kaling. And John E. Cotton. Raise your right hand. I state your names. Do solemnly swear. Do faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of the office to which I have been elected in accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth, the Charter and Ordinances, and Rules of the City of Northampton, to the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. Congratulations, gentlemen. Next, the trustees of Forbes Library, please rise as I re announce your name. Bonnie M. Burnham. Peter, T Peter N. Rowe. And Joseph A. Twarok. You'd raise your right hand for me. I state your names. Do solemnly swear. To faithfully and impartially discharge the duties of the office to which I have been elected in accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth, the Charter, Ordinances, and Rules of the City of Northampton, to the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. Congratulations.
And uh, David A. Murphy, would you please rise again to take your oath as elector under the Oliver Smith will? David, if you'd raise your right hand. I, David Murphy. I, David Murphy. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties of the office. Discharge the duties of the office. To which I have been elected. To which I have been elected. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. In accordance with the Constitution of the Commonwealth. The Charter. The Charter. Ordinances. Ordinances. And rules of the City of Northampton. Rules of the City of Northampton. To the best of my knowledge and ability. To the best of my knowledge and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, David. Uh, you'll note in the program that the members of the Community Preservation Committee will be sworn in at a, uh, a later date. Um, but on behalf of everyone here, congratulations to everyone. We wish you all the best of luck in your new endeavors or continuing on with the endeavors that you are already started in. Now um, I will call upon the Northamptons again for another musical selection. Hello, good morning. Before we start this next song, we'd just like to say a few words. Um, you know, we're so happy to be here at another inauguration, and we even like to think it's a tradition for the Northamptons to come to these inaugurations. We just love to be here. And it certainly has become a tradition for us to adapt one of our songs to the new mayor, which we will be doing today. <laughs> So, we would like to be so bold to ask Mayor Narkowitz to come sit before us and receive this song.
That was really great. Thank you. Uh, before we hear a few words from our new mayor, it is my pleasure to recognize past mayors who are present to show support for all of your newly inaugurated officials. Uh, Claire Higgins. And I believe Mary Ford is here as well. As well as David Kramer. Thank you, and please join me in welcoming the Honorable Mayor David J. Narkowitz. There's a phone here. I don't know if that's a timer or what that is. Uh, <laughs> good morning, and thank you very much. Judge Connolly, Reverend Avazian, Mr. Clark, District Attorney Sullivan, Mayor Kramer, Mayor Ford, Mayor Higgins, former Council President Dostal, and other former counselors and city officials. To my fellow elected officials, other distinguished guests, and my fellow citizens. I am honored and humbled to stand before you as the 44th mayor of the city of Northampton. I want to begin by thanking the people of this community for allowing me the opportunity and privilege to lead our city. I also want to thank the men and women who worked on my campaign and the hundreds of volunteers who helped and supported me in the election. I also want to acknowledge former Council President Michael Bardsley and his supporters for their work and participation in the electoral process. The campaign was long and at times heated, but I never doubted Michael's commitment to the city of Northampton. And I extend my hand to him and his supporters with a pledge to govern as the mayor for every member of this community. I want to pay special tribute to our former mayor, Mary Claire Higgins, who served Northampton as a Housing Authority Commissioner, City Councilor at Large, Council President, and Mayor for over 20 years. Mayor Higgins guided our city through some of its most challenging economic times while maintaining Northampton as one of the best cities in America. I know I speak for our entire community when I say thank you, Claire, for your tireless and dedicated service to this community. My mom, Madeline Narkowitz, was unable to be here today, but I thank her and my late father, Joe Narkowitz, for laying the foundations of love, family, work ethic, and community service, without which I would not be standing before you today. My sisters, Terry and Mary, are here today representing my family. Finally, I want to thank my own family, my wife, Yelena, and daughters, Emma and Zoe. They stood with me on the front steps of our house in March when I announced my candidacy. They stood with me this morning when I took the oath of office. And they've stood with me every moment of the way along this incredible journey. I love you more than anything and I thank you for allowing your husband and father to take on this new role serving our city. And if uh, JFK Principal Wilson is here or watching on television, the girls will be a little late to school this morning. <laughs> Northampton is a great place to live, work, learn, run a business, and raise a family. I think I saw a few lips moving in the audience as I delivered that line, because it's probably one I said hundreds of times over the last year. 
I know Yelena was probably hearing it in her sleep after sitting through so many of my speeches and debates. But you know what? It's true. Northampton is a great city. It's the reason we all live here. It's the reason you are all here this morning to bear witness to this newly inaugurated government. It's the reason I and these men and women are all on this stage, poised to serve the community we all love and call home. We have so much to be proud of. Distinctive neighborhoods, both rural and urban, beautiful vistas and open spaces, juxtaposed with vibrant, humming downtowns, rich farmlands, and an equally rich cultural and music life, a strong core of successful, locally owned businesses, and core commitments to education, the environment, and social justice. And probably our most valuable local resource, thousands of talented, civic-minded residents, generations of whom have helped build this city through hard work, commitment, and sacrifice. We are not without big challenges. Northampton, like other cities and towns across the Commonwealth and the nation, has had to grapple with difficult economic times, tight budgets, and ever-shrinking support from the state and federal government. A report issued last month by the Massachusetts Taxpayers Foundation notes that in fiscal 2010 and 2011, cities and towns endured the most difficult two-year period in 30 years. I quote the report, quote, we are entering a new period in which there will be a permanent squeeze on municipal finances. For the foreseeable future, year-to-year -year revenue growth will be constrained, outpaced by the growth in personnel costs and liabilities. It is against that backdrop that we must be willing to take a fresh look at how we do all of the things city government needs to do for our citizens. This is not change for change's sake, but a necessary willingness to revisit old problems and, create, and find creative new solutions. Northampton has managed to navigate these difficult times in no small measure because of the strong support of this community for preserving our city services and investing in our future. Over the last three consecutive years, during tough economic times, the voters have overwhelmingly supported three tax measures, a general operating override for city government and our schools, a debt exclusion to build a new police station to meet our current and future public safety needs, and the ratification of the CPA to allow us to continue preserving and enhancing affordable housing, our history, recreation, and open space. I am proud of our community for rallying around this city, but I also recognize that to move forward in these challenging economic times, we must think outside the box to be able to do more with the limited resources that we have. Our department heads and employees work hard every day to serve the public, and my goal is to provide our team with the tools to work more efficiently and with better results. To help us deliver smarter and more cost-effective services, I will introduce a program in Northampton for collecting and analyzing data about key city functions and services. CityStat is a performance-based municipal management system pioneered by the city of Baltimore, Maryland, and successfully adopted by cities around the country, including here in Massachusetts by Amesbury, Newton, and Somerville. By collecting and analyzing key data involving city operations and finance on everything from the number of overtime hours logged to the number of potholes we fill. I believe we can identify cost savings, find more efficient ways of delivering services, and most importantly, provide more information and accountability to the taxpayers. Northampton residents should know and expect that their tax dollars are being spent wisely, efficiently, and for the greatest benefit to our community. We'll start small and at very modest expense by training key members of our financial team in the city staff process and launching a limited pilot program. I will have more to say about this exciting project as it is developed. 
I also intend to institute a fresh approach to our municipal budgeting process. Within the first 100 days of my administration, I will schedule a series of town hall budget meetings to talk about the challenges we'll be facing with our city finances and ask residents for their input and ideas to provide guidance as I work with our department heads and their staffs to craft a budget for the new fiscal year that begins on July 1st. It's also my goal to infuse more financial data and analysis into that first budget so that there's more line item detail about the functions and services of our various departments. Finally, our city has made significant strides in consolidating departmental functions and eliminating unnecessary duplication of services over the last several years. We've also been successful in regionalizing functions like veteran services, health, and building inspections. I am committed to finding more opportunities for streamlining our government and collaborating with neighboring towns. We are a community with a lot of shared values, shared beliefs, and one where we know our neighbors and we look out for them. When citizen help or involvement is needed, Northampton residents can be counted on to step up to the plate and be there for their neighbors. When the Veterans Council of Northampton wanted to send local World War II and Korean, vet, Korean War vets on an all-expense paid trip to Washington, D.C., our community opened up their hearts and their wallets, and Tom Pease's dream of a tribute tour became reality. When a massive October snowstorm left a trail of downed trees and limbs in its wake, we put out the call to volunteers, and over the course of two weekends, city residents, city councilors, DPW workers, and Smith Vogue students worked shoulder to shoulder to help our neighbors clean up. And whenever our schools need help or support, volunteers from our PTOs, VINs, Dollars for Scholars, or the Northampton Education Foundation always answer the call. These are just some of the ways we join together in shared purpose to benefit the community as a whole. As mayor, I want to marshal that community spirit and the incredible energy and talents of people all across our city to find innovative ideas and common sense solutions to meet the challenges of the next decade. Throughout the campaign, I talked about the importance of fostering citizen participation in city government. I stated I would form citizen advisory teams made up of people from across the city, whether they supported me or not, to get our community working together to review and think about the ways government in this era of fiscal and financial constra constraint can do things more effect effectively and efficiently. I have identified three areas so far where advisory committees will be formed in the first 100 days of my administration and asked to make recommendations that can change how we conduct our public business. The first will be an Economic Development Advisory Commission to help us develop an overall strategy for economic development and how we can better position our city to attract new business. This effort is particularly timely as our city's first economic development coordinator leaves for another position, creating an opportunity to reevaluate this critical function. Supporting our local businesses while attracting more businesses to locate and grow here will result in enhanced job opportunities for residents and greater tax revenues for the community, all worthwhile goals. A rail advisory committee will be charged with analyzing short and long-term planning for the return of passenger rail service to Northampton and look at the possibility of establishing a multimodal transportation center in our city to consolidate all of our transportation. Thirdly, I will establish a website and information technology advisory committee to look at the city's web pages and overall IT infrastructure to make recommendations for improving and upgrading them. We must ensure that our city's website remains an effective tool for providing information to residents and visitors while exploring new technology for improving the way citizens communicate with city government. Smart use of technology will lead to smarter government, cost savings, and better services. 
Of course, there is a significant list of other challenges over the next two years that require our collective community attention. We must ensure that Northampton remains a place where people of all income levels can live and work. We must make much needed capital investments in roads and sidewalks, vehicles and facilities, and other vital public infrastructure. We need a plan for disposing of our trash responsibly and affordably when the landfill closes this year. And we must further Northampton's leadership role as a green community, protecting our environment, advancing energy conservation, and sustaining our resources. We need to provide top-notch public safety and keep our streets safe for cars, cyclists, and pedestrians. And underpinning all of this, we need to make the best decisions about these and other public policies while ensuring that our government is open, fair, and transparent. I know I cannot address these issues alone, which is why I'm committed to having a strong working relationship with our city council and other elected and appointed officials. In these challenging times, we need to act together to find solutions to the issues that confront us. I look forward to collaborating with all of you to serve the needs of our constituents. I also look forward to working with my school committee colleagues and Superintendent Brian Salzer to keep our school strong and vibrant. I'm the mayor, but I'm also the parent of two kids in the Northampton Public Schools. I know how important our schools are, not only for our kids' futures, but also for the overall social and economic strength of this community. This also includes Smith Agricultural and Vocational High School, and working with my fellow trustees and Superintendent Apostolou to sustain its proud tradition of outstanding career-oriented instruction for students throughout our region. And finally, I intend to reach out to the men and women who work for our city government, not just department heads, but the people providing services on the front line, teachers, firefighters, police officers, dispatchers, DPW workers, custodians, clerical staff. I want to understand their work and hear their ideas and solutions. I also recognize and appreciate that our hardworking employees have been asked to make financial sacrifices over the last few years in order to avert layoffs and allow Northampton to maintain vital services. I am committed to working with our employees to find a way to try to reverse that trend. While I've mentioned many issues and concerns that we will be addressing over the next two years, those of us on this stage cannot do the work in a vacuum by ourselves. We need the participation, ideas, opinions, and involvement of residents throughout our city for progress to occur. Once again, I want to thank the people of Northampton for entrusting me with this office. <coughs> we live in a remarkable community, and I am excited about the opportunity to build on our success and make it even better. Please know that as your mayor, I will work hard every day to unite our city and find solutions to the challenges that lie ahead. Now it's time for all of us to roll up our sleeves, work together, and move this great city forward. Thank you. Congratulations and the best of luck to you in your first term. Before we conclude with the benediction and recessional by the Northamptons, on behalf of all of the officials sworn in today, thank you all for being here. And on behalf of the citizens of Northampton, I thank all of the officials for your service and sacrifice in working to make our city the best place to live. I would also now ask you to join me in thanking the Northamptons for their wonderful performance today and wishing them luck as they compete in the semifinals of the International High School Acapella Competition in Connecticut on January 21st.
And finally, uh, just a reminder, everyone is invited to a reception later this afternoon from 5 to 7 at the Look Park Garden House to meet our newly sworn in officials. We hope to see you there. Now, if you could please rise for the Reverend Dr. Andrea Avazian. Go now renewed in hope with the excitement of new beginnings and possibilities before you. Go now knowing that there are challenges that lie ahead of you that you will meet and solve in harmony together. Go now, not asking for tasks equal to your strength, but asking for strength equal to your tasks. Go now with a sense of gratitude, humility, and reverence in your hearts, for the future holds promise and our leaders are wise. Go now with peace and a love for community as the touchstones inside to guide you. Amen. That could have the Northam Tones come forward again for their final recessional. And uh, as we walked in, everyone will walk out um, down the aisles. Thank you again for being here. Yes, I'm back in the USSR. 